Good morning, everyone. You're welcome to Open Heavens Review for today, Wednesday, the 12th of May, 2021. I'm Karen Demaja Kudumi. Open Heavens is authored by Adadim the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Vasi of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Open Heavens is a guide to a close fellowship with God. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for a new day and a new dawn. We say, Blessed be your name in Jesus' name. We pray that as we learn at your feet today, that you will give us understanding of your word. You will teach us in the way we should go and draw us closer to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Our topic for today is you too can be a child of God. You too can be a child of God. Our memory verse is taken from the book of John 1 verse 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. John 1 verse 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. A Bible reading is taken from John 1, 11 to 12. He came unto his own, and his own received him in blood. But as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Hallelujah. The message. There is virtually nothing anyone can do without power. It is generally described as the ability to act or produce an effect. It can also mean the possession of control, influence, legal and or official authority over others. Power can be physical, mental, political, economic or spiritual. The power we are looking at today, however, encompasses all fears of all spheres of human endeavors. It is the divine power available for children of God as we see in the memory verse for today. Seeing that some degree of power is required in order to become a child of God, the question then is, how can a person get this power? Beloved, this divine power is given by the Father himself. If anyone wishes to become a child of God, he or she must first come to the Father in repentance. Many have perished in sin, sickness, poverty, addictions, and other forms of bondage because they rejected the gospel of the Father and so did not receive the power to become children of God. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and become short of the glory of God. Thus, to become a child of God, you must be born again by the power of the Holy Spirit. John 3.3-5 3 the power to become a child of God is also hidden in the Word of God, Ephesians 5 verse 26. You must begin to act on the infallible Word of God. It is only then that the power to become His child will come upon you mightily, James 1 22-25. There are so many rights and privileges of being God's child. If you are yet to be born again, you are missing a lot. When you become a child of God, you immediately become joint heirs with Christ, with Jesus Christ in glory. Thus, you become bold to confront your adversaries and they will flee from you. You receive all round protection according to Isaiah 54 verse 13, 17. Your prayers will receive speedy answers from your Father in heaven. And finally, you will make it to heaven when you close your eyes in death. In other words, you will escape the agony of the second death as it is written in Revelation 21 verse 8. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To the topic once more, you too can be a child of God. Like our daddy said at the beginning of today's devotion, he said, not, we cannot do anything. There is virtually nothing we can do without power. As we know, power is the ability to act or produce an effect. Power is the ability to do work. I told also that it also means the possession of control, influence, legal or official authorities over others. If we want to make get wealthy, we need power. There's power there's the power in knowledge. There are people that they have power in knowledge. And some professors, some have very you know, those people are powerful in that aspect. Some people have political power. Some people have power in wealth. 
some people have influence it is also a form of power but the power we are looking at today is however that power that encompasses all spheres of human endeavor praise the lord hallelujah and we are told according to our memory verse that as many that receive him to them he gave power to become the sons of god that means there are divine power that is available for children of god according to our memory verse we are told that even to become a child of god there's a degree of power that is required of us the question now is how can a person get this power I told that there are so many people who are perishing in sin, they are in bondage, they are in sickness, they are in poverty. This is because they have refused, they, they have rejected the gospel. How do we have this divine power? Number one, we must first of all repent, come to the Father in repentance. By the time we come to the Father in repentance, then we become born again by the power of of the holy spirit so many people have refused the gospel of our lord jesus and they have rejected it sometimes whilst some people could be depressed they can even go to the level of committing suicide it's because they, they did not have that power to overcome the evil thoughts that is in them so you also need power to have joy in you to to to, to be free from every bondage the Bible says that everyone that is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, that overcome the world, even our faith. So when we are children of God, we overcome the world like we are told that the divine power we are looking at is the one that encompasses all spheres of human endeavors. That's every power that we need to overcome in this world. So sometimes while you are in bondage is because you have not received that power. That comes only from the Father Himself. But to, but to, but to become born a child of God, to avoid repenting, avoid coming to God from, for repentance, you must be born again by the power of the Holy Spirit. You can look at the account of the apostles before Jesus Christ died, before they had, they were baptized with the Holy Spirit. These were the people that flee, that were so afraid for their lives, they could not even perform miracles. But immediately they received power on the day of Pentecost. They won thousands of souls for Christ. Even the shadow was recorded that after the baptism, they, after they were baptized with the Holy Ghost, Peter's shadow was healing the sick. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We need power. We must be born again by the power of the Holy Spirit. The power to become a child of God is also hidden. In the world of God, the Bible says that everyone that is born of God will come into the world. This is the victory that has come into the world, even our faith. The Bible says faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. We must not only be hearers of the word of God, we must be doers of the word of God, and that is how we can act on the infallible word of God. As we act on the infallible word of God, wonders begin to happen in our lives. I was told at the concluding part the benefits, the rights, and privileges of being of being children of God. We have been told that if you want to become a child of God, you must come to the Father in repentance. You must be born again by the power of the Holy Spirit. You must act on the infallible Word of God. That means you must be not only hearer, even like the Word of God that we have heard today. We must act on everything we have heard today. We must be not only hearers of the word, we must be doers of the word of God. And that is how we can have faith in God. Now, what are the rights in being children of God? The first one, as we're told today, is that immediately we become joint heads with Christ. We become joint heads with Christ. The Bible says that we are seated in heaven. We are seated with Christ, far above principalities and powers. That means whatever cannot affect Christ cannot also affect us. All the benefits that Christ enjoyed, we also enjoyed. That is why we can overcome. And as a result of this, like I said, we can confront our adversaries like Jesus could confront even 
even the storm and say peace be still we also can be can do that because we are joined heads with christ we can confront our adversaries and they will flee the bible says you you receive we can also we will also receive all round protection the book of isaiah says no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper and this is our heritage we have the, our, the heritage of a child of God is all round protection. Every weapon fashioned against the child of God will not prosper. Every tongue that rises against us in judgment shall be condemned. Hallelujah. Another benefit is that our prayers will receive speedy answers from our, fa- from our Father in heaven. And the most important of them all, we will make it to heaven when we close our eyes in death. In other words, we will, receive, we will escape the agony of the second death as it is written in Revelation. So, in conclusion, not all brothers and sisters, if you are yet to give your life to Christ, this is the time to say, Lord Jesus, I accept you. Please come into my heart. Accept you as my Lord and my personal Savior. Wash me in your blood and make me whole. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As you have said this prayer, please go to a Bible believing church and walk with God. Change your lifestyle. Walk with God. Read your Bible. Read the Word of God. Be not only the hearer of the Word of God, but also the doer. And the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. The prayer point Father, give me the power to become your child today. I reject the devil and his deeds. I confess Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior forever. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much for